Welcome to the CI Sandbox video tutorials. My name is Sumant Bhatt and today I am going to explain to you how to use the debugger feature in Eclipse. So before we understand what debugger is and how it works, there are two important things we need to know. Number one, the debug perspective. It is located in the windows menu under perspective. So you will be able to see it in the list. I have already used it before and so I can access it from this button on the right side that looks like a bug. So if you click on that, this is how the debug perspective looks like. So we have something called as debug view, which shows you the status of the debugger. Then we have the variables view, the breakpoint view, and the expressions view. I'll explain to you all of these as we move on. Then we have the outline that shows about all the methods that we have implemented in the program. So we have the main method, generate area method, and then you have the output where you can see the output of the program. So let's go back to the Java perspective. So apart from the debug perspective, the second important thing is line breakpoints. So line breakpoint is a point where the debugger will understand that the control has been given, has to be given to the user in order to proceed further. So how do you set a line breakpoint? You can either double click on the side and you can see the little blue circle. That is a line breakpoint. Or you can right click and say toggle breakpoint. So in my program, I have implemented a logic for generating area of circle and I have taken radius as the input from user using scanner and my method generates the area and returns it as a double value which I have assigned to the area variable as you can see in the main method. So let's proceed and see how debugging is done. There are two ways to do that. One you can right click and say debug as Java application. Alternatively if you can see a small icon on the top which shows bug you can click on that and it will take you into the debug mode so now the program execution asks me to enter radius for the input so let's say radius is 5 and now you can see that I've been asked for confirmation of a perspective switch now this means that we'll be moving to the debug perspective so I can remember my decision and then click on yes. But for the time being, I'm just going ahead. So as you can see, we have entered the debug perspective. And on the top of the debug view, you can see these buttons. So this is step into, step over, and the others. So what these buttons do is they help you to debug the program line by line. So you can understand what happens at every single line during the program execution. Now there's something called as watch expressions. What I have done is I have added this expression pi into radius into radius or pi times radius times radius as watch expression. And how to do that is right click on the expression and click on watch. What this does is as you can see in the expressions view, I can see the expression and the value. Currently the value has some form of an error because it does not have a definite value but it will get a value when it has a value assigned to it as the program gets executed. In the variables view, you can see all the variables that are local. So right now I'm in my main method because my debugger has halted at the breakpoint, which is line number 10. And I can see all the local local variables present in that method. So everything that is local to the main method will be visible here. So you can see radius, area, and SC. SC is nothing but my scanner object. Then if you go to the breakpoints view, it will tell you where in the program you have set breakpoints at. So I have one breakpoint at line number 10. This is how you can see where you have set all the breakpoints in the program. So let's move forward and see what happens when we debug step by step. So when I say step into, it will take me to the method implementation. 
generate area and as you can see I have entered my method and there is a double parameter rad which I have used for computing the area of circle using the expression and if we carefully look now as we have come to this particular method we can see that the area of our, the value of the expression has changed and you can see that if I step into again now since I moved out of the um, generate area method this is no more local to me as a result the value has gone but you must have observed that there was a change in the value when we executed that particular line so now this value has been returned and it's yet not assigned to the area variable and it will be done once we move ahead with the execution so when the program execution goes to the next line the value should be assigned to area variable so let's see what happens when I step into okay as you can see the variable has got a new value and we can see that the change has been made now my next line is nothing but a print statement that will tell you what the output looks like and let's go to that as you can see the output shows area the new value so this is how you can go about debugging a program and try to understand for yourself what happens at every single line of execution and one important thing that I missed out is uh, if you ever want to see which value has been used in the program anywhere let it be a constant or it is a variable that has been assigned a value previously then you can go and hover your cursor on that particular value and you can see what the value looks like so as you move ahead that's how we complete the execution and if you go back to the java perspective you can stop before getting this kind of a thing or you can close this and that's how we debug a program so this you can use to terminate the debug process since we have already completed the process and so that's how you learn debugging and feel free to ask any questions to me or any other tutor in sandbox feel free to jump into sandbox whenever you have any doubts or questions and um, happy debugging